for today's session, going a little bit old school with the pen and paper. Um, the two activities I'm sharing are Marks and Shinos and Crazy Driver. These two sessions are primarily focused at the little bittiest guys, the you know the U7s, maybe the U8s, the players who are just getting comfortable with uh, time, space, manipulating the ball, uh, manipulating the opponent. So, you know, Sharks and Minnows, traditional game, you know, you have one player who starts and they kind of run across and are tried, they're tried to, uh, you know, the, the shark tries to tag them. Uh, basically the same thing, and there's a couple of ways that you can use this. So, you know, you have your lines or your lanes marked out, and each of your, you know, each of your marks, so to speak, you know, occupies one of those lanes. So this player right here can only defend within this lane. You know, the more the more space that they can occupy, the more opportunity they'll have to win the ball. And again, for those little bitty guys, um, you know, you want to kind of limit the ability of the defender while at the same time maintaining a defender so that they have an opponent that they can try to, you know, get around. And so they can have a little bit of success. So the, you know, the first and most obvious way is everybody says one, two, three, go. And each player takes off with the ball and tries to get across a line. And each time they cross a line, they get a point. And you can have them go all the way across, like so. Um, and, you know, they just try to cross lines. Each line they get across, they get a point. And the defenders, you know, they win the ball. They steal the ball. They, main, they get control. They get a point. You know, the player who lost it gets their ball and goes back across. And they, you know, they keep their own scoring. The other way, if you want to really encourage changing direction would be basically the same thing, but they try to get into the zone and back across. So if they, once they enter this zone, they, they can't stop, they have to go. But once they get across this line and they can maintain possession of the ball, turn, change direction and come back across, they get a point, you know, same thing up here. So the defenders, same basic premise, you know, they stay in their lane and they wanna to try to win the ball, but rather than going all the way across, the person with the ball tries to turn and get back. And, you know, for your really high level players, you know, especially with this one, you know, if you have a stronger player, you might want to put them in that middle and give those players the opportunity to challenge themselves. Can I get across two lines and make it back? Can I manipulate the ball, manipulate my opponent, find that space, get around and get back? Marks and Chinos. For Crazy Driver, you know, it's a, this is a nice one because you can use both variations um, and, you know, it's a similar kind of thing. So the players you know, get used to the idea of changing direction, manipulating the ball within this kind of space and dimension um, and direction. But this time, rather than going across, uh, you know, um, you know, um, going over lines, this time they're changing lanes. So if you like played Frogger before, uh, if you're that old and you kind of recognize what that is, it's basically the same idea. So for Frogger, you know, the player enters with the ball or for Crazy Driver, excuse me, um, but they have to change lanes. So every time a player can change a lane, they get a point. And same thing, defender tries to win it within their lane, but can they get back across to their original lane? So this lane, you know, nobody's there, but once they enter, they have to change lanes to try to score points. Every time they can get in and change a lane, they, you know, they get a point. And you'll, you are gonna have some players who are gonna, just gonna try to go all the way across, and there's nothing wrong with that, that's okay. But as we continue our coaching points of, you know, how can we, how can we change direction? How can we go the other way? Can we try something different? you know, gives your players those opportunities. And for both Crazy Driver and Marks and Shinos, you know, manipulating the space, you know, for those players who might need a little bit more space, make the lanes a little bit bigger, maybe take out a couple of defenders and, you know, and, and enjoy. So as you go and as you see how your players are, are dealing with the situation, you can adjust the space, you can adjust the, the, the number of opponents, you can adjust um, to meet the level of your player's needs. You want to have some success for everyone, um, which means, you know, especially the focus point here is, you know, ball manipulation, changing direction. Um, you know, you want to make sure that they're getting some success, but not so much that it's too easy that they're making it across every single time, you know, winning three points or whatever every single time. So crazy driver, marks and shinos.